Diversity in TVET, providing and promoting equal opportunities for both men and women. That's the theme for this year's Technical and Vocational Education and Training Week, celebrated by the Ministry of Education. Activities will be held across ITVET compounds throughout the country to celebrate the inclusion of young women and men into the many programs offered by TVETs. The idea is to break the cycle, including women in engineering, carpentry, and other technical skills. We're trying to move away from just providing uh, training for, for guys, maybe in the traditional area for guys. We want to incorporate more females in our program. And so for this open day, we plan to see how we can promote that theme. We want to see how we can promote that. And one of the things that we're doing also is providing scholarships for young ladies to enter some of these uh, non-traditional programs. It's unfortunate that there is still this stigma existing on ITVET, and maybe not just for ITVET Belize, but speaking about ITVET Belize that, you know, unfortunately some people see it as a last, you know, a last chance or a last effort for, to send their child. Um, if they don't get into any other institution, then let us try ITVET, or if they dropped out of high school, then let us look at the option of ITVET. I think strongly the ministry is dismissing you know, that stigma as well. Students from across the country converged today at the Belize City Campus on Freetown Road for the annual ITVET Open Day. There they competed in various areas of hospitality, service and management, cosmetology as well as automotive, electrical, air conditioning and refrigeration, welding and plumbing. A trio from Punta Gorda took the top spot and walked away with medals and bragging rights for their product. Chocochino, a chocolate and coffee drink. We came up with the, uh, this, this idea because in Toledo we have cacao coffee. So we take those two raw products and make, you know, mix it up and then come up with something Chocochino. That's what we made. And then our group worked so hard and then, you know, because we wanted to come here, not just to participate, but to win, right? To be a first place winner and, I mean, we did it, yes. Assistant Manager at the IT Vet Belize City, Dean Tillett, says that Belizeans need to see the value and importance of TVET in industry and the growth of the economy. Tillett says that presently, four high schools, including Maud Williams, Sadie Vernon, Nazarene, and Excelsior High, are getting training in TVET, and it is in the Ministry of Education pipeline that other schools will partner with the institution. Dr. Bob clearly mentioned in her opening remarks this morning the importance of TVET to drive this, this country, to push us forward. And in one of the, 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 the uh, speeches we had this morning, too, we had um, Mr. Uh, the guy from over at um, Pumps Belize, I think Mr. Jorge or Will. And he represents industry this morning, and he speaks volume in terms of the importance of TVET. Being a TVET person himself, I think he attended Belize Technical College back in the days but the value of TVET. And everything right now that we're focusing on in terms of this week, we want to promote the importance of TVET, TVET training, and to see how TVET can go on into the workplace and actually be something of importance. Dwayne Moody for News 5.